Live from the Piazza, it's Quinnipiac Tonight! Starring Richie Agostinoni, Nicole Belanger, Jeremy Culkins, Brent Costantino, Matt Fortin, Drew Rodenheiser, Michaela Toledo, Daniel West, Anna Castro, John Ferraro, Reagan Martin, Zapati, featuring the musical stylings of The Piazza Pit. So put your hands together for Quinnipiac tonight! Hey everybody, welcome to Quinnipiac tonight. I'm Andrew Robinson. I'm Aaron Robinson, and if you didn't know, we're twins. To prove it to you, we'll show you our twin telepathy. Ready? Say one thing you're thinking. One, two, three. Apple ball. <laughs> one more time. One, two. Hey guys. Fast sports. <laughs> Damn it, dude. What the hell is wrong with you? I gotta bounce with you. Have you seen Freaky Friday? Yeah? Well, I'm John. Me and Andrew swap bodies, and now Jonathan's for the basketball team. My sucks, man. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of Disney, we've actually been cast in a spin-off of a show called Sister Sister. Here's a sneak peek. Brother, 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 brother. I got my own mind. I do my own stuff and my own stuff. Now everybody sees how this we have come to be. Brother, brother, even though I'm got to be with ya, I gotta do the real for me, like I got to do what's right for you. Wow, 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 oh, 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 brother, 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 brother. Thanksgiving? Are you tired of listening to your cousin talk about his lint collection because it's really not that f***ing hard to collect lint? Well, I got some tips for you to hide from your family over this Thanksgiving. Tip 1. Pretend you're a piece of furniture. And so I told her, you're an idiot for picking that. <laughs> <laughs> Return home when no one noticed you've been kidnapped. Hey, where's Michaela? Hmm. Michaela? Hmm. She's probably somewhere around here. Oh, someone clean up this blood and throw away that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Mom. Wait, who's Michaela? Who knows? <laughs> Tip three. Study astrophysics. Form a team of the world's best scientists. Create a portal to another dimension. Travel to a universe where your family is less annoying. Murder the version of yourself from that universe. 
hide the body, attempt to bribe the cops when they come knocking, get in a shootout with those cops, travel to another universe, then get into a shootout with multi-dimensional cops, and start fresh again. But then realize the universe you're in now views sneezing as a hate crime. Hey! Whoa! You racist mother Travel to another dimension, discover that in this universe, f***ing oneself is a display of power. Sh yourself. At the f table. Michaela, I raised you better. Just kidding. You're in the same universe, you idiot. So realize that no matter what you do in life, it has no meaning, because there are literally an infinite number of universes where you'll do exactly the same thing and nothing will matter. Anything you do in life, large or small, will contribute nothing because in the end, the sun's just gonna destroy all of humanity anyway! And all those degrees you got in Irish studies will mean absolutely nothing! So just go back to your dinner table and listen to your third cousin talk about his lint collection! Because compared to the existential crisis you just had, that's not such a bad deal! <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Sports Pause. In the end, we're here to win the championship this year. Jess Fontaine now has that. She's going to take a river off the post, but she's going to come back. And my number one, hold your applause, Bobcats fans, is Quinnipiac. All right, Victoria, you know what time it is. It's top five plays of the week. My favorite time. All What's up? My name's Paul. Um, I'd say I'm a pretty good basketball player, mainly because my mom is a ballet instructor, and I took a couple of classes with her, so I really think that I have the groove down. What's up? My name's Drew. I consider myself one of the best basketball players in the world. Do you know why? Because I hydrate all day. Hi, my name's Dan. I'm white. Name's Brent Costantino, but in the streets they call me Steph Curry, LeBron, Melo. I'm no doubt gonna get on this team. I don't even know why I'm trying out, to be honest. They offered me to play, but I wasn't so sure at the time. I'm just buckets. Gotta get limber. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to basketball tryouts. We're going to do a few very simple drills. My name is Coach Andrew, and I'm Coach Aaron. Hope you guys are ready to work hard, you know, to a jump shot like this. All right. You guys slap the ball, huh? All right. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's not the same as those boys. Oh, I'm not even lined up. You got it, you got it. Oh, would you, would you like? Oh, big out. Oh, I'm gonna hydrate first. I was sitting here at the vegetable jar and that was my issue. Definitely gotta hydrate. It helps you focus. Oh, hey! There we go. There we go. Hydration, hydration is the key to success. Give me some of that water. Oh, one of the key success. Wrestling coach says I have a 5.3 foot vertical jump, so. Did you see that? <laughs> Alright, guys, now it's time for you guys. Tell me what you got, man. So, social skills. I may have bruised my coccyx. So what's next, guys? You know, y'all worked real hard today. I think it's time for the game action. Think so, Ace? Think so. Y'all two, y'all four are gonna play. That's two, two on four. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Go again. Oh, fuck you. That was I'll luck. Check it. I'll check it, okay. <laughs> I think they went pretty well. <laughs> I'm still white.
got a game for you guys called Him or Him. How it works is pretty simple. Uh, you will both be asked a series of situational questions, and all you have to do is answer who's more likely to partake in that situation. All right, so the first question is, which one of you is funny? trending topic is hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac entertainment news. I mean, it certainly seems like an uphill battle for this team, but I, Trisha Fabi is one of the best coaches at this university. Bobcats hosting Arizona State. We'll start with this power play. But she's strong. Good Lord, I saw her lifting one time. She could squat three of me. Like, oh, well, that's seven of me then. <laughs>
and welcome to Belle's Kitchen. I'm your host, Belle. Today, we have a very special guest. Hey, everybody, I'm Coyote Joe, and I'm from the mountains. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. Today, we'll be making Derby Day bourbon brownies. For this recipe, we start off with brownie mixture, eggs, and oil. First, we add the mix. Then we add the oil, but we didn't get any budget for oil. So we use the next best thing, mayonnaise. That's disgusting. Mmm. Next, we add the egg. Joe, the egg please. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's a tough one. Let me just crack it. Oh, she crack. Oh, this is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Next, we add the bourbon. This is a perfect recipe for any event with children. You're gonna need it. We'll need around two cups of bourbon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks good. Smells delicious. Now we beat it together. That's what I do to my, my penis when my wife isn't home. Mmm, doesn't that smell delicious? No. Oh. Let's throw this in the oven. Wait, why is there a brownie made down there already? Joe, please. Oh, sorry. While those are in the oven, let's work on our frosting. For this, we'll start out with butter. Now, if you're worried about the unhealthy qualities of butter, I suggest adding some Vita gummies. It really makes up for the butter. For adding those vitamins, you'll definitely need. Mmm, doesn't that smell delicious? Uh. Now we add the sugar. Joe, the sugar, please. Oh, don't worry. I whipped up an old family recipe. I call it White Dragon. It will make your butthole warm. Sounds like quality. Let's add it. All right, just a little sugar. Oh, that, look, that looks good. That's perfect. Now we whisk it together. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Doesn't that just smell delicious? Mm -hmm. Oh! The brownies are ready. Wait, what? Wow. Mmm, don't these look delicious? Add the frosting and enjoy. Oh, wow. It's that, the frosting. It's the white dragon. <laughs> I'll be back next time. I'm Coyote Joe, and I love doing blow. Give me some of that, you bitch. That's so good. I killed a man once with his own hands. So, this is what happens when we get together for night and doing dinner with the cast of you tonight. Let's take a look. So then I said to her, Janet, that's a pickle, not a dildo. Oh! What a gas! <laughs> oh, I'm enthralled to all have you in this studio for this lovely Thanksgiving feast. Mm. Such an elegant and secluded place to have a avant-garde behavior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am tickled pink that you all could gather here to become acquainted with my elegant girlfriend, Nicole. Do tell us about this enchanting girl. Please do. Does she make your heart swell? Yes, does she smell of lilacs and warm kisses? Why, of course. And vanilla. Well, look, here she comes now. Hi, everyone. Hello, Paul. It's been a while. Why, it does appear that they've known each other. Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
compromise. Scandalous. Everyone sit down, please. <laughs> Darling, come here. Right next to me, my love. I cannot stand to you without you for too long. So why don't we go around and say what we've been thankful for? Well. First off, I'm thankful for my bidet. <laughs> 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 Lord only knows the condition my bum would be in if it weren't for my beloved bidet. Oh, oh. 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 oh my. And I'm thankful for my duvet. Oh. <laughs> Anything less than a thousand thread counts is dreadful. Oh. Agreed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, come down, true man. It's not that part of the evening yet. We <laughs> oh, Richmond, you jog. <laughs> oh, and I, I am thankful that you're okay, old sport. I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, so is anybody else thankful for anything else that's happened from this year? I'm thankful for you, my lady. You are the apple to my eye, the star to my blackest night, the rainbow to my rainy day. The peanuts bread to my organic homemade jam. The apple to my sauce. The white Lamborghini to my black Ferrari. The ocean to my black Hawaii sand. The stingray to my sea world. Because apparently oak words are free and I can't use that analogy anymore. You are the thorns to my pink rose. The O to my climax. The Get on with it, lad. Nicole, you are the love of my life. Will you marry me? Yes, Andrew, I will marry you. Hey everyone, sorry I'm late. What'd I miss? What the? What the f is going on? Drew! Manners! <laughs> Andrew! Dear brother, what are you doing here? What do you mean? What? You invited me. Why are you all talking like that? Nicole, what's going on? It's because it's who we are, darling! <laughs> yeah, indeed. We are an exquisite group of chaps. And ladies. <laughs> The f Anyway, you proposed to my girlfriend? I thought it was you, Andrew. How? <laughs> yes, how could you possibly think that they're the same? Uh -huh. I just- Doesn't make any sense to me. Just because they have the same feature? <laughs> Good heavens! I did it! What has longer hair? Abominable! You have ruined the Thanksgiving dinner! You rapscallion! <laughs> Andrew, listen, it was a joke. I got caught in the swing of all this, and all of a sudden, I was wearing a top hat, a monocle, and I was proposing to your girlfriend. Exactly, I would never forget you, babe. I just, I got ca all caught up in the laughter and fancy clothing. Hey, what happened, bro? Ah! <laughs> 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 well, that's our show tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We want to thank the cast, the crews, and as always, one who Piazza Pit. Be sure to follow us tonight on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Shout out to the cast, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.